So we've been getting a lot of comments on this stuff lately, and rightfully so. Six cans of the 12.5 ounce cans. Look at this. Price did go up here too. They had kept it at $15.98. Now $18.98 for a six pack of the chicken breast. Good morning. Today we're here at Sam's Club. We're going to go in and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, so as soon as we come into Sam's Club, I wanted to check out the chicken because we've been getting comments that a couple Sam's Clubs across the country have either been low or out of chicken. So I want to make sure they were getting it in. Uh, they do have chicken wings here, $2.98 a pound. I do have to say they are a lot lower than they normally are. They do have the drumsticks here, still 98 cents a pound. That's a pretty good deal. Uh, we've been hearing at some Sam's Clubs that they've been $1.49 a pound. Uh, they do have the chicken thighs here. Oh wow, chicken thighs, $2.98 a pound. Wow, now these are the boneless. Let's see here, okay, so the bone in, uh, 98 cents a pound, so still there. Oh, kinda freaked me out there for a second. They do have the chicken tenderloins, these are $2.98 a pound. And look at this. First time I have seen chicken breasts at our Sam's Club in a long time, probably about a month. They are $2.98 a pound. Uh, these chicken breasts are great. More importantly, we can find them. Uh, it's been harder and harder to find chicken breasts, and then when we do, it's at a ridiculously high price. So $2.98 a pound is a pretty good deal. I like to call this the delicious cabinet. Uh, already pre-made stuff. You just heat it up to your liking. Look at this huge pot pie here. Still haven't tried this, but I've heard uh, people have said it's amazing. And um, it's good to see they got a lot of this back in. I haven't seen this in a long time, this chicken taco kit. We got a lot of comments on this, never tried it. Um, but yeah, they do got some uh, good looking stuff here. Brussels sprout salad kind of deal there. They do still have their pork baby back ribs for $3.98 a pound. Now we did see these for $2.98 a pound at Kroger, so a little, little cheaper. You can't get them this big though. Um, and they do have the pork spare ribs for $3.08 a pound, which pretty close to the same everywhere. Another comment that we got, and we've seen this problem at our Sam's Club, is meat hamburger. Uh, they have the 90% patties here. Uh, it is still $4.18 a pound, but they don't have any. They don't have any of the five pound packets. Um, they do have the burgers here, a little bit of a better sale. Uh, all these are reduced in here. Um, but yeah, this is kind of crazy. It's been empty. I know it was empty the last time we were here too. Okay, so it does look like they moved a lot of the meat packets over here to the main counter here. It is $3.98 a pound, which is a little cheaper. Uh, it was $4.18 a pound, now it's $3.98, same as the one that we went in Florida. And uh, I gotta say, it does look pretty good. Looks like they're prime beef ribeyes are up to $15.98 a pound now. These were $14.98 a pound. That's a little expensive, but I do wanna show that they do have, still have the uh, USDA choice for $10.98 a pound. My opinion, these are just as good. Um, and it's pretty, pretty decent deal. I remember these were $9.98 a pound, and I guess a couple of your Sam's Clubs cross country still are, but Ten ninety eight a pound here, still still better deal than that. These the quality is really good on these, but the quality is great on these too. They do have their beef chuck roast for four ninety eight a pound. This is a regular price here. Uh, we saw that Kroger's has theirs on sale, which you do have to buy a little in bulk here. Um, but yeah, it's worth it. You know, you can cut one of these in half. You could have three different roasts depending on how big your family is. Um, let's see, this is almost five pounds for $24. That's about as good as we're gonna get these days. And this quality is amazing. Looks like they got their pretzel bites with cheese back in. I remember somebody asked about this a couple times ago when we were here. Um, $9.88 for that. And they have these charcuterie boards back in that some people have asked about. $12.87 for these, which, you know, considering what you would pay at Kroger or Meyer for something like this, that's not too bad of a deal. So a pretty decent deal on the Honeycrisp apples. We've been seeing Honeycrisps kind of come down a little bit in price, not much. These are four pound bags for $8.64. They are on a instant savings deal, regularly $9.64 uh, minus a dollar with the additional savings. So you got a Sam's Club near you? 
and you like the honey crisp there we go some apples that we haven't been able to find in a lot of stores are the ambrosia gold now i haven't seen these here in a while these are six dollars and 62 cents for a four pound bag so not really too bad of a deal here they do have the cosmic crisp apples that a couple people have asked about uh eight dollars and 98 cents for a four pound bag not a big fan of fuji apples but i will say it is a five pound bag for six dollars and 76 cents i mean that's better than what you're gonna pay pretty much anywhere else did just notice that they have the five pound cutie uh these have been coming in uh we saw they were gone for a month or two i know everybody was asking about them it is seven dollars and 52 cents for a five pound bag now that's actually a little less than what it was when they were here the last time for a five pound bag. It was $7.98, so a little cheaper. Uh, more importantly, they're getting them back in. I guess a lot of people love these. So one good deal that is not such a good deal anymore is the baby spinach, the one pound was $3.48. The last, now it hasn't been in for a long time. Comes back at a higher price at $4.38. That's almost a dollar more than it was. Uh, they do have a one pound of the spring mix here that was also 348 and we see that only went up to 388 but still significant price increase we also see that the dole salads 32 ounce two pounds of salad has gone up to a dollar 92 which is still a decent deal but that is up from a dollar 78 not that long ago um yeah some kind of strange price increases here uh, 248 for the two pounds of coleslaw that's the same price as it was the last time uh, the dill pickle salad actually I haven't a lot of this stuff is just now starting to come back in I haven't seen this stuff in a while two dollars and seventy four cents for this something else that went up a dollar here are the eggs the solders two pack 18 count eggs 1098 the last time we were here eleven dollars and seventy eight cents now crazy now, one good thing, milk has actually gone down in price. Uh, the 2% milk was $3.26, the same as what they got the 1% milk here, $3.16. And the whole milk is $3.82. Uh, fun fact, in Sarasota, Florida, when we were down there, it was $3.83. So, one penny higher in Florida, same school. Been getting a lot of comments about the Kerrygold butter. The Kerrygold butter did go up. It's $9.48 now. That is up from $9.12. Now, it was a savings deal the last time we were here uh, for the six uh, four-ounce packs. So $9.48 for that. Also, the spreadable kind is the same price, $9.48. Okay, so we got some comments on these very cherry plums. I got to admit, I've never had one of these before. Um, somebody said they haven't been able to find them. Looks like they just got a load of these in. I've never seen them here before, so I would check again next time you're at the store. See if they have them. They are $6.98 for a two-pound bag, so $3.50 a pound. Got some good comments on the dry-roasted peanuts with the sea salt. These I noticed these did go up in price from the last time we were here. They were $3.98, now $4.28. I hate to see all this stuff going up at Sam's Club because, you know, it's like... You pay to shop here and all this stuff and it's like to see all these prices go up here you know you would think that they would be able to work out different deals to keep the prices at least a little lower you know you raise things 25 30 cents some stuff a dollar you know and I, maybe they don't have a choice i'm sure they don't but you know it is kind of frustrating when you come in here and you see everything has gone up in price also real quick today's video i am filming for the first time in 4k resolution so if it seems a little off or if it seems a little weird, I apologize for that. Wanted to try and get a better resolution. If you notice a difference, let me know down in the comments to any of our regular viewers that may notice if it doesn't seem like the quality is as good. I don't know. I usually film in 1080. Um, but for trying the 4K, just see if it gives a little better re resolution. But it is kind of tricky. So let me know down in the comments after the video if you happen to notice a difference. Does it look better? Does it look worse? Do you notice a difference? Let me know. Okay, so we have been getting a ton of comments on Sam's Club's coffee going up in price lately. I will say, and we went over all this the last time, doesn't look, I quickly looked over some of it. It's all the same price that it was the last time we were here, except for the Cafe Bastillo. This was $15.98, $16.94 also. Been getting comments on decaf coffee. A lot of people haven't been able to find it. That's probably why this is very low here. 
I know Folgers is a big one. This is 33.9 ounces for $12.58. So right about the same price for 19.2 ounces at Kroger for about the same price. So you're getting, you know, a lot more. It, it, it's still expensive, but um, you are getting a lot more in these than you are the smaller, like almost cut in half uh, canisters here. So, you know, just want to point this one out. We also got another comment about the equal, the zero calorie packets. These are a thousand packets for $10.48, which is actually a pretty good deal. It's up from $9.98, but as we looked at Walmart the other day, I think for 500 packets, it was pretty close to the same price. It was like $8. So you're getting an extra 500 packets here for $2.50. Also, they do have the bigger things of Truvia here. Uh, $14.98 for 400 packets. So, yeah, this stuff's pretty expensive. Um, but, you know, a lot of people like it. So, wanted to point it out here. Okay, so I wanted to point out the coffee made here because there were some questions on the difference between the ones at Sam's Club and the ones at, like, Kroger. Well, first of all, it's double the size. Now, it, I know with some new viewers, uh, we do point some of this stuff out, you know, as much as we can this is 56 ounces so you were getting double this is six dollars and 98 cents which this is up from just a couple months ago of 5.98 so it is up a dollar but it is 6.99 now at kroger for one half this size so at sam's club you're getting double the amount for the same price we did get a comment on the Folgers Classic Roast going up in price. They did. They did go up here. These were $11.72, and then we saw the weird increase to $11.98, and now has jumped a dollar to $12.98. We've been seeing coffee skyrocket in the stores lately, so I'm not surprised that Sam's Club had to raise the price a little bit. Still a better deal than if you were to buy it at any other grocery store around here. One thing I will say is that their coffee is a little lower than it normally is, especially on Starbucks and Dunkin'. And the reason for that is because it has just gotten ridiculously overpriced uh, in a lot of the stores. Um, the Tim Hortons, somebody asked about, it is $44.48 now for a hundred count, so a lot of them. Um, but it is, you know, it's up $4, almost $5. It was $39.98. Uh, for the longest time and you know we saw major price increases here on some of this stuff like the starbucks uh keurig cups too 41.98 um now we see these prices really fluctuate sometimes but usually 39.46 was for the um uh for the starbucks and duncan duncan was also 39.46 there for a while but again we would see this on sale for like 31.96 sometimes so whenever i come here and i find it on sale i'll buy one even if i got plenty because it's like you know you save a fortune um crowd pleasers collection i don't know if i've ever seen this one this is part of the green mountain 3164 for this and you get 72 of them but see here's the thing like green mountain you know it's supposed to be a little bit cheaper look at this 4492 44.92 so you were paying the same okay you get 100 instead of 72 of them but it's like these places are, are paying attention to what duncan and starbucks are going up to and then they they try to slide in and and use the price that they were charging i you know i don't know it's just it's getting really expensive um yeah i mean some people said this a couple months ago that coffee was going to be getting really expensive and uh yeah it sure is like the original donut shop here you get a hundred of them but the price has shot up to 44.92 now this was 36 uh I believe it was 36.72 one of those weird numbers not that long ago like a couple months ago so this is almost up ten dollars eight yeah five six seven eight nine uh, nine dollars nine dollars in just a couple months so I saw that McCafe over there. I was kind of curious because they have an instant savings on it right now. They have it for $33.48, which is normally $39.48. $6 savings. It is a 94 count, so a little bit better deal. So if you drink McCafe, I recommend buying it this week before it goes back up again. Okay, so 
Uh, somebody had said that they've been having trouble finding some of the plates and foam cups and stuff like that. does look like they have some here, but look at this. This is empty. I don't know. These are all paper plates, uh, paper towels down here, which obviously they got plenty down here. So we do know that the toilet paper did go up to twenty-one seventy-eight. This was nineteen seventy-eight forever. It's gone up two dollars. Um, you know, it is what it is. It's still the best deal around. We love this toilet paper. Um, yeah, it is up two dollars. One little thing of concern is the select or the paper towels. So their paper towels were fifteen ninety-eight. Great deal, right? But their paper towels are real cheap. They're not like. You know, the, the, the fact that we were only paying fifteen ninety eight for it was a good deal. $3 more now, though. And I just noticed this. $3 more. Was fifteen ninety eight? Now, I don't really know if it's worth it. But, you know, we've been seeing them go up, too. The ones we used to buy at Kroger that were normally $10 are now $15. So, I don't know. You do get more. But, like I said, it, they are cheap. And, you know, cheap quality. But you do get a ton of them. But still, $3 more, I don't know. Now well, we do see our uh, trash bags went up a dollar here. These were $17.98 forever. Now they're $18.98. I will say this is awesome, though. Uh, these are just as good as the Glad, if you ask me. Uh, we bought this months ago, and we, we're not even halfway through it. Um, 200 garbage bags for $18.98. Up a dollar, but still, I would still buy these because it's a great deal. You know, you, you'll spend $10 on uh, 45 Glad trash bags, so definitely worth it. So we've been getting a lot of comments on this stuff lately, and rightfully so. Six cans of the 12.5 ounce cans. Look at this. Price did go up here too. They had kept it at $15.98. Now $18.98 for a six pack of the chicken breast. That is, I don't know. I, I don't miss, I don't really feel like it's worth it. Swanson for one of these cans at Kroger has gone up to $5.49. $5.49. They tend to have it on sale for $4.49. But, I don't know, this stuff has really skyrocketed in price. This was $15.98 the last time we were here. People had been saying that it had gone up to $18.98, so sad to see ours has gone up as well. Still the best place to buy your Del Monte canned goods. Eight cans for $7.14 right now for green beans. Now, I've heard they've gone up a little higher in some of the other Sam's Clubs across the country. $7.68 for the peas. Now, these were $6.98. Not that long ago, the green beans were $6.48 and the corn was $6.48 as well. However, it does look like, okay, so this isn't like one of the saver deals or anything. They're just $7.14. That is up from $6.48, but still less than a dollar a can. So I know this sounds like a high price at first, but we, we had a comment on the Velveeta cheese blocks. Now these are two 32 ounce blocks, right? So two pounds each. Um, however, they are $13.98. So you're, by buying this, you are saving $2, uh, almost instantly. We've seen them for $7.99, $7.99 at Walmart, $8.99 at Kroger. So about $9, that'd be $18. So if you were to buy two of these at Kroger, that would be about $18. So you are saving $4 by buying this. I, I don't know. I still think it's all ridiculously expensive, but um, here's some of the Velveeta cups. I don't see any of the craft ones in, but this is a 12 pack of the mac and cheese that somebody asked about $8.98. $8.98 for the 12 pack. So that's less than a dollar a piece. So that's not too bad. Sticking to the mac and cheese here for a second. Here is 18 boxes of the Kraft macaroni and cheese 18 pack $14.74 I mean it's like you're saving five dollars if you were to buy this at Kroger and who knows and that's if it's on sale for a dollar a box which that rarely is um, but you're almost instantly saving five dollars by getting this okay well this is starting to get a little ugly here 24 pack of ramen 678 678 how does this go from 498 the last time we were here to 678. That is that's crazy. I know a lot of people on our channel who buy these up when they get a chance. This is six boxes. You do have to buy two boxes of the elbow. 
two boxes of the spaghetti and two boxes of the penne, but it is eight dollars for a six pack basically. So um, Barilla has gone anywhere from $1.80 at Kroger. We've seen it for $1.99 a box at some places. So when we factor all that in, it is a little bit of a better deal, but you are gonna have to use these. I think most of us would use spaghetti more than anything, but it does uh, force you to get a little creative. Or you can do what we did and get the six pack of the Members Mark spaghetti, which is awesome. Six one pound boxes of spaghetti, $5.48. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's less than a dollar a box. We had gotten a few comments on some of the Dr. Prager's uh, products that we saw at Whole Foods Market the other day. and wanted to show they do have the California veggie burgers here, $11.48. Ooh, nice and chilly in here. That's a hot day, so, okay, 12 burgers. Didn't say on the tag there. So you get 12 burgers for uh, $11.48. Don't sound too bad. We had some comments about Jimmy Dean, some people not being able to find it again. This is just something we dealt with months and months ago. I will say, however, they do have a ton here at Sam's Club, which is good to see. 12 count of 13.48 did go up from 12.98, but we've been seeing these kind of skyrocket in the stores lately, so still seems like a pretty decent price. So I had pointed out the corn dogs, the State Fair corn dogs the other day. And somebody had mentioned they haven't been able to find them. Yeah, they've been gone for a long time. Finally starting to see them come back in here. 30 pack for $13.48 here at Sam's Club. Uh, more importantly, they have them. And I agree with you. Uh, they are good. We got a comment about Stouffer's lasagna being ridiculously overpriced. Somebody said $16.99 uh, for one of these in one of your stores. Same thing here. Big 96 ounce one here for $13.48. So... Still a little pricier than the last time we checked. It was $12.98, but $13.48 compared to $16.99 is a great deal. One thing I wanted to say here is that they are serving on one of their little stands, little pieces of cod. It's the beer battered cod fillets, which we had tried before. Guys, this is delicious. Uh, it's 11 to 15 count, depending on the weight, I guess. Uh, it's a 32 ounces, so you're getting two pounds already cooked. I uh, just got to heat it up in the oven. $13.98. That's up from the last time we bought it at $12.98, but everything's going up as we know here. Uh, and I just wanted to point out those are absolutely delicious. It's good to see that they're getting a lot of their fish back in. I know somebody had mentioned the tilapia for Walmart. Now, this is a three pound pack for $13.78. Not the same brand. This is Members Mark. Uh, so I don't know. It may come from the same place. Not really sure. But it's, it's a lot cheaper. $13.78 here for three pounds. Uh, it was $14 something at Walmart for two pounds. So a little bit of a better deal here. So if you are a crab lover, I recommend going to Kroger this week. They have a digital coupon deal where you can use up to five times to get crab legs for $11.97 a pound, which is the best deal we've seen in a long time. Crab seafood has kind of just gone through the roof. $95.28 for five pounds. That's almost, that's like $19 a pound. So, you know, you'd save a lot of money. Um, I don't know, you know, unless you're having like a big, like, I don't know, a big birthday or something for somebody or a big party where their favorite thing is crab legs. You know, that's an awful lot of crab legs. I can see like restaurants buying some of this stuff if they can't get it in there. Good to see they're getting a lot of their shrimp back in. People, uh, we've gotten comments that uh, you haven't been able to find a lot of the raw shrimp, the members mark. They got the big jumbo ones here, $18.48 for three pounds. They also have the already cooked medium shrimp, two pounds here, 50 to 70 count for $14.98. Um, we've gotten the smaller bags of this. I do believe it's the same thing at Walmart. It, it's not, it doesn't say members mark on it, but it look, the bag looks very similar. Okay, so we're gonna kinda look through some of the little snacky things that a lot of people have asked about here. At first glance, I'm looking at some things here like these wonderful pistachios here that were $13.98, now they're $14.92. I'm noticing everything in here looks like it's gone up either 50 cents to a dollar. Um, and we don't usually buy a lot of stuff from here in this area, but we're gonna check out a few of the things you guys have asked about uh, and kind of go over some of the prices. They do have my Hunter Mix uh, peanuts back in, gourmet, gourmet mix here. 
great kettle roasted flavor, vegetarian. They are $8.58 now though. Uh, so we saw these go away for a little while. They come back at a higher price. These were $7.98. But you know what? Something I love and it goes the distance, guys. I mean, that is good stuff right there. So the cheese balls here, the Oots cheese balls, are the 35 ounces like they used to be, right? Now all the stores have the 28 ounces. $7.98 though. $7.98. So we saw the 28 ounces for $7.12. I believe that was Walmart. One place had them for $6.98 of the 28 ounces. So the same as it's always been of the bigger size for $7.98. These were $6.98 not that long ago. So again, something else that's gone up a dollar. Yeah, just kind of walking through the middle aisles here. I noticed they got the Boom Chicka Pop. Uh, this is the sweet and salty kettle corn. Now, I think somebody was looking for the chocolate ones. I don't know if they sell those here at Sam's Club. Uh, it's $6.98 for a 25-ounce bag, uh, which is huge for popcorn. It feels heavier than 25 ounces. Nope, 25 ounces. Um, but yeah, I think all they sell here is the sweet and salty ones. Somebody was asking about uh, to check the snack packs of the goldfish. They do. I assume this is what you were talking about here. Uh, 36 packs here for $12.18. Seems a little extreme. But, hey, if it's what you like, you know, if you take one for lunch or something, I completely understand. Plus, it keeps them fresh. I remember somebody saying that their giant bags of Chex Mix went up at Sam's Club. I said that I would check them out next time we were here. Sure enough, they did go up. These were $6.48. Now $7.18, and you know, I feel like we can find sales on this every, you know, we usually always find sales on Chex Mix at Kroger, I think I left that in the comments, um, but yeah, everything's going up guys, everything. So if you really like vanilla wafers, this might be the place to get them. They are $4.99 at Kroger for one box, $7.18 here for two boxes, I don't know what the price was. Uh, I'm sure it's probably gone up, but two boxes for $7.18. Uh, so you're getting a little bit of a better deal. Uh, but I would never pay $5 for one of those. One awesome thing. If you're a viewer from around Cincinnati, you know Grippo's chips. Those are our famous barbecue chips here in Cincinnati. This is a pretty good deal. This is a 1.5 pound box for $5.98. Uh, they are a little, uh, you know, a little bit spicy. It's a little bit of heat to it. But I love these. $5.98. I mean, we spend 4 to $5 on one bag. So that's a great deal. Guys, that is all the time I have today at Sam's Club. I didn't get to check everything that I wanted to. Kind of ran out of time. Really starting to get crowded in here. It is Sunday. So that has a lot to do with it. Uh, sad to see a lot of the prices just continue to climb here. Uh, it was good to see the chicken breast coming back in. Haven't seen chicken breast here at this Sam's Club in probably over a month. So good to see that. A uh, little low on the hamburger and stuff like that, but I'm sure they're, they're probably selling it. You know, they're selling it because it's cheap. It's cheap, good quality meat. Uh, and, and we've noticed a lot of meats going up in price at the regular grocery stores. Kroger and Meyer going up again. So, you know, we need to keep an eye on these things so that we can save a little bit of money. Um, gas has gone down a little bit. But still at $4.69 a gallon is still pretty expensive. So, you know, we have to watch that and save our money where we can. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.